Hi guys, just want to answer a question I get quite regularly on some of my old videos where I converted toy grade radio controlled cars to LiPo batteries. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time in those videos and in the video descriptions explaining uh, the problems with doing that. Your LiPo batteries come in 3.7 volts, 7.4 volts, 11 point whatever it is, volts, 11.1 uh, volts, isn't it? Um, so they're not directly compatible with AA uh, batteries. So if your car has four AA batteries, it's expecting six volts unless it's uh, rechargeable batteries, in which case it's only expecting 4.8 volts because uh, rechargeable AA batteries are only 1.2 volts instead of 1.5 volts. Anyway, um, there is a way around it, which I haven't used myself. I intended to use years ago, and I bought a bundle of these little modules here. Uh, they're known as buck converters and they'll step down a DC voltage from something to something else. So for example, I've got a 3S LiPo battery here, nominally 11.1 .1 volts. At the moment it's showing, that's a little LiPo alarm I've got there. It's currently showing 11.6 volts with all three cells and that tells you what each cell individually is. So 11.6, 3.89, 3.90, 3 3.89. So that's a reasonably well balanced three cell LiPo battery. What I've got at the moment is I've got it wired directly into this buck converter and I've turned it down and at the moment we're outputting 1.54 volts. And I've got a little electric motor here from uh, some toy or other that's only expecting one and a half volts, which is why I've turned it right down to 1.5. So if I connect it up, it happens to be a vibrating motor. So you can probably hear it vibrating. It's got an offset weight on it to make it vibrate. Okay, so that's stepped it down to 1.5, when in fact that's drifted a bit, 1.7 volts and it has a variable resistor here or a pot potentiometer I can't even put my screwdriver on there because it's all vibrating if I get it in there you can watch this change right, I'm turning it down you might be able to hear that's gone quieter so we're going right down to that's about as far down as this will go, actually. Yeah, back to 1.3. Go the other way. One point eight volts. Two volts. I'm breaking rather a lot now. Three volts. Four. Five volts. Lipo alarm gone off there. So you were stressing it.
Right, so we're back down again. Any of this hot? Mm, not too hot to put your finger on. Motor's not too bad either at the moment. It probably didn't like going all the way up to six volts. So that's a buck converter that you could potentially use if you want to convert your little car to a LiPo battery, but you can't get one that's going to match the voltage that it's expecting. Now, to be honest, it's not the motor you're going to worry about so much, it's the receiver that the current's going through. The toy grade receiver is probably, well, in, in the case I've described, probably only expecting a maximum of about 4.8 volts with four um, rechargeable AA batteries. And if you go stick in 11.1 volts through it. The motor might survive, but the receiver won't. It will burn out. These little buck converters, you can buy them online. I got these from eBay. I think I bought a bag full of them because they were so cheap. I've had a look just now and they're sort of 199 or something like that, or maybe even cheaper. So that's an alternative. And it's quite a small unit, so it'll probably still fit inside your little car, but you do need to set it up to the voltage you want. So you'll need a meter to be able to check the voltage, and then set it up for your requirements. But don't blame me if you still burn out your radio control gear, because this is just an option, something that might work for you. Thanks for watching. If you like that, then you might like this. And if you like this and that, you might like to subscribe over there.